Hey guys, uh, it's Gail, and if you look around or back in familiar surroundings, I'm at the Islands YMCA. I'm one of the instructors here, and um, I'm now actually going to film from the Islands YMCA aerobics room, and then it will be put up on Facebook and possibly YouTube. So more information to come about that. Uh, I'm lonely here, nobody but me, so I can't wait for all of us to be back here together and be doing this uh, real soon, hopefully. But for now, we have to take care of ourselves, take care of each other. Um, and so today, I'm gonna run you through a little workout and have some fun. So here we go. All right, let's get warmed up. Ready, here we go. Remember, you do what you can do. If something takes you to a point that you don't feel comfortable, all right? then you need to stop. All right, now take your arms in front. Forward and then back. Bring those shoulder blades back. There we go. Keep breathing. Nice, squats. Okay, nice and easy. You only go down as far as is comfortable for you. All right, you're pushing off those quads, trying to push off the heels, so you're using your glutes. All right, if that's hurting your knees, you only do what you can do. Okay, we're just getting everything going, getting the blood flowing. Okay, make sure you're breathing, regular breathing, nice and deep. Couple more. One. Two. All right, reaching with those shoulders one at a time. Leaning over just a little bit. Okay, we're getting those sides, those obliques, lats in the back. All right, now let's take those arms and go out. So we're bending the knees slightly, doing a little bit of a side lunge, but we're reaching, reaching, using that core, shoulders. Very good. Hope everybody's joining me today. All right, now we're gonna keep lunging, but we're gonna to touch the knees. All right, keep looking straight ahead. Nice, strong back. There you go. Getting everything loosened up. Last two, one, two. Make those arms go in circles. Now backwards. Nice, now push down. Push out. Okay, everything's getting warmer. Heart rate's starting to go up just a little bit, that's good. Keep your breathing nice and calm. Nice job, now we're gonna spread our feet. One in front, one behind. I want you to lean and stretch on that front knee and I want you to stretch that back hip flexor. All right, one more. Come back halfway. Okay, nice stretch. Arms up halfway. Work on your balance. Focus on one thing, one thing that's not moving. Take your arms up, okay? Bring it in front and all the way down, excellent. Okay, so we're getting a good stretch in there, a little bit of strength and also your balance. Spread your feet, lean on that front knee, getting a stretch in that back hip flexor again. And come back and again. Not bouncing, if you notice, we're holding the stretch. Never bounce on the stretch, that could cause an injury. Come back halfway, arms up, keep breathing. Up tall. And in front. Good work, very good work. All right, let's pull that shoulder across. Other side. Very good, put one heel out and hips go back. Try
trying to stretch the hamstring and the glutes. Switch it up. It's very good to be back at the Islands YMCA. Wish you were here with me. Nice job. Put your hands together. Round your shoulder. Roll your hands forward. Turn to the side. Come back to the front. And the other way. Nicely done. All right, I want your hands together here. All right, we're going to work on stretching out the shoulder blade area. All right, if it hurts your shoulder to go up over your head, this would not be one for you. Okay, then you rotate side to side. Everybody else, here we go, push up. Open your hands and come right down in front of your face. Here we go again. Push up, stand tall, open, bring those hands down. One more. All the way up, nice and tall, open, come down. Very good, very good. Roll those shoulders around just a little bit more. All right, good job. Let's get the band. Remember we talked about if you don't have a band, okay? You might have a towel, you might have a uh, belt that has a little elastic in it, okay? The YMCA now is giving packs. You give a $25 deposit, and then you get a fitness pack to go, which has two weights, I believe, and a band and a mat. So uh, call up to the YMCA, check on Facebook, see how you can get your own pack, okay? Here we go. Grab those, that band, wrap it around your hand, and pull. Shoulder blades go back. Control the band, okay? Don't let it spring back on you. That's dangerous. Could cause an injury. We're just trying to stretch that upper back, those shoulder blades. One more. Nice. All right, take it. Let's go put it behind us now. All right, under the arms. Okay, so it's coming across my back. This time I'm gonna push. Instead of pull, I'm going to push. I'm gonna keep my arms down here in front. All right, and I'm gonna push out, or what we call slicing the bread. You can do it one at a time, if that feels better with your band. You can also do this with weights. If you have your weights and you don't have a band, you can hold your weights here and simply push forward and back. Okay, strengthening up the shoulder. Three more. One, two, three. Very good. All right, let's take that down. All right, we're gonna work on a little bit of leg strength and some balance, okay? I've got this nifty little glider that we use here, but you can do it with a paper plate. We've talked about that before that will slide along your carpet or slide along your hardwood floor. Remember, you're gonna put your weight, okay, I'm gonna have my weight on my left leg, okay, probably 95%, 98%, and that other small percentage is on the ball of my foot, okay? I don't ever wanna stand fully on that disc, okay? It could be slippery, slide out from under me, okay? Causing a fall. Okay, we're gonna go out to the right side. Here we go, push and back. Okay, notice my left leg holding all my weight, bending as I go down. Okay, I'm not going out too far so that I couldn't come back. Control how far that leg goes out. Push off with that left leg. Here we go. Okay, it's like a, a skating move. All right, almost like a skater's lunge. But it helps us to work on strengthen that leg and balance. One more. All right, bring it up, switch it over to the other side. Notice how my upper body, okay, I'm in control of my upper body, it's nice and tight. All right, I'm using my arms. All right, let's go to the other side. Two, three, that's it. Four, five, six, seven, three to go, eight, Nine, keep breathing. 10, all right, let's put him away. All right, spread
Spread those feet out. All right, we're gonna do a little squat. All right, we're gonna reach down. I'm not gonna look down. Okay, I'm gonna have nice posture through my low back. Okay, you have to make sure you're doing squats correctly or you could damage your low back. All right, it's just like sitting down in a chair and standing back up. We do that multiple times during the day. All right, so we wanna make sure we're doing that correctly. We're sitting down, the hands go down, and I'm pushing back up. Using my quads, glutes, hips. If this is as far as you can go, that's as far as you go. All right? We don't want to have pain in the knees. If you're getting tired here, that's fine. If you're getting tired and it's burning in your hips and your glutes, that's fine. We don't want knee pain. All right? We're going for 10 of these. We're going to breathe in as we go down, and then we blow it out. One. Two, three, stand tall when you come up. Four, five, we're halfway, let's go. Six, seven, eight, couple more, keep breathing. Nine, ten, very good. All right, I want you to get one of your small weights. All right, we're gonna hold it in front. All right, you got a weight, you got a jug of water, you got a jug of milk, ketchup, canned goods, whatever you have at home, okay? Everybody's got something that's gonna add just a little bit of weight to their workout. All right, we're gonna work on your balance. So I want you to try to put one foot in front of the other, okay? If that doesn't feel comfortable, put them right beside each other or have a chair right there that you can gently hold on to, be next to a wall, all right? You do it wherever you can do it to feel comfortable. Bend those knees slightly, I'm taking my weight now. I'm gonna push it forward, I'm gonna change my center of gravity, okay? To the front and back. So if you watch it this way, I'm gonna push forward and come back. I don't want to go forward with it, so I have to engage my core. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, five more, six, seven, looking good, eight, nine, one more. 10, there you go, nice. All right, let's switch the other way. All right, we're gonna use that same weight and we're gonna go up over your head. Okay, now I'm not changing the center of gravity out in front of me this time, but I'm taking it up over my head, which is gonna be challenging as well. That's when a lot of people lose their balance when they get up on their tiptoes and they start reaching overhead. All right, other way. Here again, stand next to a wall, stand in a corner. All right, stand next to a chair. Ready? Bend the knees. Use those toes, clamp onto the floor. Here we go. One, two, three, four, doing great. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, made it, nice, let's put that down, all right, we're going to spread your feet, okay, instead of a stretch this time, like we did last time, I'm going to show you from the side, last time we did a stretch, all right, we kept this leg relatively straight, now we're going to do lunges, all right, so that means we're going to bend that front knee and bend the back knee, and then we're coming back up. Breathe on the way down, blow it out on the way up, okay? You go as far as you can, okay? Protect the knees. You don't want to lean over. Body, core, nice and tight. Okay, looking straight out. Let's go. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, keep going, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Leg strength, okay, critical for fall prevention. We want to make sure that the legs are as strong as possible. All right, other side. Okay, nice tall core. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, four. Keep breathing now. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. Check out those legs. All right, they've done a lot so far. All right, let's pick up a weight. Okay, you can grab again, grab whatever you have there. We're gonna work on the back of the arm. All right, the tricep. Working on the tricep. We're gonna take it up over our head. Okay, we're gonna bend that elbow and extend the elbow. Anytime you bend the elbow and extend the elbow, that works these tricep. All right, that may be uncomfortable if you have an issue with your shoulder. So if you do, you're gonna rest on your knee and you're gonna bend the elbow and you're going to extend the elbow. Bend, extend. Notice I'm not swinging it, okay? That would mean the weight was too heavy and the weight was controlling me. I wanna control the weight, okay? I don't wanna use momentum. If I can't lift it and squeeze it, and put it back in place and be under control, then the weight's too heavy. But on the other hand, if I could do 300 of these, then the weight is what? Too light, okay? So you judge it for yourself. If you were here in class, you know, I look around, I bust you out if I think you don't have the right weight. Okay, so you're on your own right now. Make sure that you're doing the right thing. All right, tricep, here we go, stand tall. Bring it down behind your head and up. One, two, three, four, five. Keep breathing. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, it should have been starting to burn in the back of your arm, okay, after ten. If you're trying to do this several times during the week and 10's becoming easy, then go on and do two more, do 12, okay? When 12 becomes easy, use the same weight and do 15 repetitions. That's how you can increase your strength, all right? And then after you can do it 15 reps, you might wanna add a little bit more weight, all right? Gotta do that other side, standing tall, behind your head, Okay, that's critical. Here we go, lift. One, two, straighten out that elbow is all you're doing. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very nice, okay, that's starting to feel it right here in the back of the arm. That's good. All right, let's pick up the other one. All right, while ago we did squats and lunges, okay, which is for the quads, hamstrings, glutes. Now we're gonna do those deadlifts, which is super, super critical that you use the correct form, all right? So I'm gonna show you from the side. When we did squats, we sat in the chair and we stood up. So what happened, the first thing I stuck my backside out, I bent those knees, and I went down and I pushed myself back up. We're gonna do a deadlift now, so we're gonna to wanna to feel it more in the hamstrings, okay, and in the glutes. We do not wanna feel it in that low back. Okay, so put your feet a little closer together, bend them slightly and keep them just like that. Now the first move is for those hips to go back and I go over, keep my head up to about my shin level and then I pull myself back up using my hamstrings and my glutes, okay? I don't put my head over, check my back out. 
All right, my back then rounds. I want to make sure that my back is nice and flat. Check this out. Here we go. Keep your head up. One. Two. Three. Come on. Four. Squeeze those glutes. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. You should be feeling that then the hamstrings and the glutes. Okay, not in the low back. Okay, we don't want to injure that low back by having the incorrect form. All right? All right, I want you to put your arms in front. Now, you've got both of your weights. My arms are 90 degrees. All right? A lot of us have shoulder deals. Sometimes we wake up in the morning. Sometimes we let the dog pull us with the leash. It just injures the shoulder a little bit, gives it a little stretch. So we're gonna do a little rehab move for that shoulder. Okay, so you're gonna lock those elbows right next to your sides and rotate the weights outward. Okay, you never let your elbows leave your sides. Three, keep breathing though. Four, five, six, seven, Eight, two more, come on. Nine. Ten, there we go. All right, very good. Let's put one down. All right, we got one more. Then we're gonna go down on the mat. Okay, we're just gonna do one arm. We're gonna hold it up nice and tight. Okay, I got the weight in my right hand and I'm gonna take my left leg back. Okay, so this is what it looks like from the side. Holding it, so I'm using my bicep, right? Just to hold this weight, and then I got a tight core and I'm kicking that one leg back. So we got some work going on this arm, we got our core involved, and we're working on balance, okay? Using those glutes and those hamstrings, ready? Here we go, one, two, three, four, Five, looking good, come on. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, switch it up. Okay, left bicep, I'm having to hold on to that. My weight's on the left side, everything's over here, shifted. Right leg is going back. Let's go. One, two, keep breathing. Three, four, five, balance. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We did it. We did it. All right. We're going to get down on the floor. Let's pull this in the middle here. I want my weights nearby because I may use those. I got my band, my towel, whatever I've got. Put everything close by. All right, here we go. We're going to get down the mat. Let's do just a little stretching. Okay, because we have used the legs a lot. I want you to have those the back of the legs up off the mat. Okay, you don't ever want to do anything with totally straight knees. All right, that's putting way too much pressure on the low back, whether we're standing or sitting or on the floor or whatever. So slight bend in those knees. Okay. Hands are up, we're gonna bend from the hips, not the waist. Okay, hands are up. I'm gonna look at my hands as I reach out. Keep breathing, hold it, and come back. And control the stretch, breathe the whole way through. Here we go, reach. And back. Let's go one more. Feels good in that hamstring. Nice. All right, let's spread them out just a little bit. Okay, take the right hand and go over toward that left toe. And bring it back. And now take the left hand over toward the right toe. Very good, feet back together. All right, 
I'll bring that right leg over the left leg. Just so I can pull, feel a little stretch there in that hip flexor. Okay, we did a lot of legs. Legs are important though. Okay, we're trying to do things that are gonna make your everyday life easier. Switch it up. Okay, right leg's out straight, I put my left leg over and I pull on that leg just a bit. All right, let's put those feet out in front. Now, <clears throat> we're gonna do some more triceps, all right? I'm gonna give you two options. You're gonna try to hold yourself, let me turn this over. You're gonna hold yourself up off the floor. Okay, notice my legs are bent. I can put them out here, okay, that's a little harder. I can bring them in a bit. The goal is just to get your body off the floor. I'm only gonna have my heels touching and my hands. Now, if that hurts your wrist, we've talked about that, you put your knuckles down, all right? You can either hold your body up and bend your elbows and straighten your elbows, like we talked a while ago. Bend, extend, and that gets the triceps, okay? Or you can simply hold yourself up while I count to 20. You're still using your triceps. You gotta use your core, use your legs, use your glutes, everything you've got, okay? You never know when you're gonna have to hold your body weight, all right? You're using those triceps. That's what's getting you out of chairs, out of the car. All right? I'm going for 20, I'm gonna do the dips. Okay, you can either dip or you can hold yourself up. Okay, keep breathing. You can do this in a chair. Okay, you have to have arms on the chair or you can simply do it on the base of the chair. All right, be careful. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, whoo, twenty. Nice. I feel that here. All right, that was the goal. Plus, I had to use my core and my legs as well. Okay, you never know when you're going to end up having to hold yourself up. All right, that's critical. Imagine when you move yourself in the bed. Okay, sometimes you're like, I'm gonna, push, I'm gonna push myself over here. All right, or when you're down on your one side and you're like, okay, I need to get to the other side. What do you do? You sort of push yourself up with your arms. Okay, so arm strength is critical. All right, let's grab your stretchy band if you have one. Let's put it under those feet. Okay, you make it as tight as you want it to be. We're gonna go one arm at a time. All right, and pull. And back to the front. So I'm tightening up my core. I'm not using my low back. I'm tightening my low back. I'm tightening my abs, but I'm using my upper back and my arms. That's four, five, six, seven, Eight, let's get two more. Nine, ten. All right, put that down. All right, now I'm gonna turn sideways. I'm gonna do some crunches, some floor work. All right, I want your feet on the floor. Weights on your heels, toes are up. Okay, my hands are behind my head not clamp together on my neck. We don't want to see that. So many people tell me they can't do crunches because it hurts their neck. Their neck should not be involved, right? It's here. Your abs are what's involved. So eyes are on the ceiling always. Just trying to get those shoulder blades off. Okay, 20. We're going for 20 crunches. Okay, we can do this. Let's go. One, two, breathe every time, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Rest for a second. Very 
nice. We'll put my right leg down. Okay, my right foot is down. Excuse me, my left leg is over. Okay, just like I'm hanging out. Right hand behind your head. So this time I'm using my upper abs and my obliques because I'm gonna come across my body. I'm gonna try to make that right elbow go toward my left knee. Okay, you do not have to touch it. Ready? Eyes up. One, two, three, keep breathing. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we're gonna switch it up. The left foot is down, the right leg is over, left hand only behind my head. Eyes on the ceiling. Let's go. One, breathe, blow it out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Keep going, let's go. Eight, getting hard. Nine, ten. Oh, nice job. Let's stretch it out. Legs go out. Arms are up, okay, I'm trying to stretch out those abs. All right, be as long as I can be. Relax, take some deep breaths, in through your nose as much as you can get in there. And then blow it all out. Again. One more. Breath in and then blow it all out. All right, let's pull both knees in. Okay, I'm not pulling them as far as I can. I'm just trying to pull them toward my chest so that I have a little bit of a stretch in my hips, okay? A little bit in the low back, not a painful stretch. Just trying to loosen everything up. Hips. All right, keep that right leg in. Put the left leg all the way down. Okay, on the floor as far as you can make it. Flex that foot. Pull that right knee in. Now take that right knee and sort of come across your body just a ways. Okay, a little bit in the hip, a little bit right here in the low back. Come back to the middle. Let's switch it up. Right leg down, straight as you can make it. And bring your left knee toward your chest. Keep breathing through all this now. Always breathing through the stretches. Bring that knee across. Very good. Grab your band, grab your towel, whatever you got. Let's put it on that foot. Okay, right in the middle. My left leg is bent. Got that band or towel, whatever I have under my right leg. And I'm gonna pull it toward me. Notice I still have a a little bit of bend in that knee, okay? I don't want it all the way straight. I want to bend and pull until I feel it here in the hamstring. Relax. Pull again. Keep breathing the whole way. Relax. One more. Bend that knee slightly. Each time you probably can go just a little further. All right, let's switch to the other foot. It's the easiest way. Here we go, nice and easy. Going three on this side, relax. Thinking about that hamstring, pull. Slight bend in that knee. And relax. One more. All right, beautiful, take that off. All right, let's get up to our hands and knees, okay? Check your posture. Hopefully you're near a mirror or somebody can watch you. You wanna have a good flat back posture. I want my hands under my shoulders. I want my knees under my hips, all right? I'm gonna take my right leg out. I'm gonna try to make it as straight as possible. 
All right, and I'm going to try to take my left arm out at the same time and look straight down. Keep that core tight, low back, glutes, and bring it down. Okay, work on your balance there. It's very good for your core strength. All right, left leg, nice and straight. Ready? Right arm. And down. Good job. Good job. Go back and sit down on those feet just a bit, okay? Don't hurt a knee or a low back. We're just trying to stretch out those shoulder blades, low back, lats, hips. Now let's go forward. Rest on those elbows. Just get a little bit of stretch in the low back there. The extension. Okay, your low back is supposed to be in a curve. Okay, that's extended like when you're lying on your elbows. All right, push it up. We're gonna get up to one knee. Okay, what does that look like? It looks like a lunge. We just did that earlier. Okay, should you want to get in the floor and do your exercises? Should you end up on the floor for some other reason? Let's hope not. But how am I going to get up? Okay, if you can, the easiest thing to do is to do like we did. Roll over and get on all fours. Get up to one knee. Okay, you may have to crawl to a chair, to the sofa, to a counter. Have something right there that you can push off of. All right, and then you're gonna push yourself up to where you're standing. That's the easiest way to get off the floor. All right. All right. We're gonna get one more good stretch. I wanna get a good stretch for these calves, okay? So we're usually push against a wall, all right? The way I'm in here right now I can't push next to a wall but we usually push next to a wall and we keep that heel down and we lean forward so I'm getting the back of my knee there all the way down into my calf try the other side heel down keep the heel down it's harder when you don't have a wall to push and obviously we can't do both All right, enjoyed it guys. I'm happy to be back with you at the Islands YMCA. I can't wait till this room is full so that I'm not here all by my lonesome. Catch you next time, love you guys.